All right, I uh, want to take the opportunity, man, to talk a little bit about Built to Last. I uh, want to talk about the program a little bit. want to kind of uh, give you guys some information on what the program offers, um, what's my plan with the program, and how I plan to move forward, and how does fishing um, applies to it. Okay, now the program is called Built to Last. Um, you can find it at builttolast21.com. Uh, I will link that also below. Um, all right, so the program basically is really, in my mind, designed, I designed the program for, uh, to deal with kids in fatherless home or in areas in which uh, they can't find leadership or development. Um, I worked in a juvenile detention center um, as a treatment um, supervisor for, uh, well, I was only a supervisor for about two years, but prior to that, I worked as a counselor one there. and. I quickly learned, man, that working inside the juvenile setting, uh, it was only so much you can do. It was only so much you can do. And I was really passionate about those young boys uh, that I was dealing with on an everyday basis, man. I spent more time in, inside that facility than I did in my own home. Um, so what I did was is, is I got to a point where I felt like I wanted to do more. Um, I felt like I, I, I wanted to, I felt like my life and, and my experiences had already prepared me uh, for what some of those other kids were going through, based on the things that I've had to endure throughout throughout my little my little time here on Earth. Uh, so what I did was I just kind of took a foundational piece, um, and I created Built to Last. Uh, I, I I I came up with Built to Last just um, <laughs> on the strength of a conversation that I had had with a friend, man. And she told me one time, she said, Jeff, like you didn't see the worst, you know, and you've already survived. That means nothing else that you know you can you can ever go through in life could conquer you, man. Like you know, and then she she she, she told me one time she she said, God would never put more on you that you can bear that you couldn't bear on your own shoulders. So for every situation that you may you may find yourself in, good, bad, or ugly, you're already prepared to deal with it. It's more of a mental thing. Um, so I took that and I created built to last with it, and that's why I came up with the concept being built to last, just being able to. Just being built to, to manage any situation or, out, or or circumstances that you may that, that you may face uh, throughout life. So, how all this stuff intertwined? Okay, I put down my football gloves and I put down my football cleats and I picked up a bass rod. What that did for me was gave me a different avenue to go out um, and do something different that will that I feel that young guys will. Um, coincide with you know something that I think that they would find interesting again um, I found it interesting so I figured if I could put as much if I could take the time to put it to put it back in and in, in to a lot of the kids in the area uh, and be uh, some form of a light for another kid to to follow their dreams and do things that they're really passionate about you know versus you know doing things that they just got to do just because they got to pay bills um, Chase your dream, man. You know, that's always been my thing. Do things that makes you happy. Um, so, and that's something that I've always done, you know, and I've traveled the world a little bit and, and being from a small town of South Bay, man, you know, you don't really get to see much. Um, and, you know, I, I took a chance in leaving and, you know, I've been able to come up with a pretty decent lifestyle for myself. Uh, so I just ask you, man, that you guys uh, check out the website, man, see what we're doing with a lot of these kids in the area. Uh, stay tuned uh, and create and, and enjoy this journey with me as I as I try and become uh, the next pro. Uh, I think it's awesome, man. I think being from Florida and being off of Lake Okeechobee, there's not a lot of young guys like 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 myself, man. That 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 is looking to do it at that particular level or even know how. Um, and I feel like if I can set the stage to bring some of those other young guys along, man, that's something that I'm very 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 interested in. Uh, so. You know, I just want to thank you guys in advance. Uh, you can find a lot of my information on on YouTube, on Instagram, uh, and Facebook. It's all Monk City Angler, um, and I think it's 21 on on on, on Instagram. Uh, I'm Jeff Willis, uh, 21 on Snapchat. Uh, pretty decent lifestyle, man. Uh, I try to you know live a lifestyle of character and integrity, and, and you know out anything outside of that, you know I, I try to stay away from. So positive vibes only is what we're doing. Uh, so thank you. 
uh, definitely, you know, if, if anything could help, if you have anything that could be beneficial in any type of way, I'm grateful, and I thank you in advance. God bless.